Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on soft modding a fat PS2. So by the end of this video, I'll show you guys how to take your entire game library and back it up from the discs onto a hard drive. We'll stick that hard drive into the PS2 and then we'll play our games without using any discs. So I'm using a 300 gig SATA hard drive. Um, basically, in order to get the hard drive working, you need to get a network adapter. I got the one from GameStar that has a SATA bus on it. So the original Sony branded network adapter had an IDE bus. You can use that as well, but you have to get an IDE hard drive and that might be kind of slow. Uh, one thing to note is that the network adapter actually does not have a network adapter. This is just a blank RJ45 punch out. Um, so if you want to be able to do things like back up your game library to your NAS and then stream your games over your network to the PS2, you're going to want to get a network adapter that actually has a network adapter. But I'm just trying to put my game library on the hard drive, so this will work for me. Basically what we're going to do is plug this hard drive into a Windows box and then load FHDB on it. That's free hard drive boot. After that, we'll load all of our ISOs onto the hard drive and then we can plug the hard drive in and play all our games off the PS2. Um, one of the things you'll notice when you boot FHDB off the hard drive with a spinning disc like this, it takes about 60 seconds for the PS2 to boot up. So as an optional last step and one that I recommend, I'm going to go ahead and install FMCB, that's free memory card boot, onto a PlayStation 2. It's got to be a Sony branded 8 meg Magic Gate card. So I tried this 128 meg card for PS2 that I got off of Amazon. It totally didn't work. It complained about not having Magic Gate. So you want to get yourself a Sony branded 8 meg Magic Gate PlayStation 2 memory card. And basically what that's going to do is move our boot time from 60 seconds with the spinning disc down to about 4 seconds off of solid state. So let's jump in. Alright, so I've got my 300 gig hard drive plugged into this Windows box here and we'll start by downloading free HD boot. Um, so basically we're going to get version 193, we're going to get the newbie package which is basically free HD boot plus all the applications already installed. Uh, so I'll copy that address and we'll download it on our Windows machine here from this forum thread. Uh, and then from the same website, we'll also get HDD raw copy tool. Uh, and I'm going to get the Windows executable. Alright, and then the last thing we need to grab is WinHip. Alright, now we'll pull up our downloads and we'll extract the FHDB image. So this is pretty impressive. It starts as a 9.7 meg file and blows up into a 7.6 gig file. Pretty neat. Alright, now I'll run HDD raw copy as administrator. Yes. Um, and our source file is going to be the image file that we just unzipped and our destination is going to be the 300 gig hard drive continue and start yes alright now that that's complete our hard drive is ready to have the ISOs loaded onto it um, but I'm going to do an optional step here so I'm going to install the OPL art so if you don't want the game art uh, to kind of make it look nice, you can kind of skip this step. But I'm going to go down here to the OPL art instructions. Um, basically copy this link and we'll go download OPL manager, latest version. All right, now we'll extract that. and I'll run OPL manager as administrator, hit yes, hit save, I'm going to make normal ISO and then on the desktop we'll create a new folder, call it OPL, hit OK, hit save, hit OK, uh, yes we want to create the hierarchy, um, so basically now on our desktop we've got this OPL folder and there's a DVD folder inside of that now, so what I'm going to do is take my Grand Theft Auto ISO and I'm going to paste it into that DVD folder. Now I'll go back to OPL Manager and I'll close it out. 
and run it as administrator again. Now you can see it's telling us we have a bad name. Um, so what's going to happen is when we grab the art for this, in order for the art to work, it's going to rename the file name. Um, and then it'll use that file name to link itself to the artwork associated with it. So I'm going to go over here and click try update file name. Hit yes. And now we can see it's no longer a bad file name. So with the game selected, I'm going to go to manage arts and click the download button. And that one looks good. And just grab all these different artworks here. All right, now that we've got all our art loaded, I'll close this out and close out OPL Manager. So if we go into our desktop and do our OPL folder, if we look in art, now we can see all that artwork that we just downloaded. So what I'm going to do is copy that whole art folder and I'm going to paste it onto a thumb drive right here. And then I'll eject that thumb drive and stick it in the PS2. Okay, so now if we look at our OPL folder on the desktop, in the DVD folder, you can see the file name has been renamed. So the next thing I'm going to do is go back into my downloads and extract WinHip. And then we'll run WinHip as administrator. Hit OK. I'm going to select my PlayStation 2 hard drive. And I'll hit Add Images, Image Files, Add Images, and pick that Grand Theft Auto image. Hit Start. Hit OK. Okay, at this point our hard drive is ready to install in the PS2 and we're good to go. Um, but before we plug it in, I'm going to do one more optional step. If you want to do the free McBoot install, go ahead and follow these instructions. I recommend it. Um, so basically, I'm just going to go get the FMCB files. And I'll go ahead and get the latest installer. All right, now I'm going to extract those files into the thumb drive. All right, now I'm going to pull the thumb drive and the hard drive out of the computer and plug them into the PS2 and get that booted up. Okay, so now I've got my hard drive and my thumb drive plugged into the PlayStation 2, and I'm just going to power it on. Okay, so I fast-forwarded through that. That was about a 40-second boot time. Um, so basically, at this point, you can go down to Open PS2 Loader and start playing the ISOs on the hard drive. Um, but what I'm going to do is install Free McBoot next um, before I start playing stuff. Um, so if you don't want to install this, you are done and good to go. Um, otherwise, basically we're going to launch ulaunch elf and we're going to use that to launch the fmcbinstaller.elf file from our thumb drive. Uh, and then we'll stick a memory card in and get that all set up. So let's go to ulaunch elf and launch that. Now we're going to go circle to file browser. We'll go down to mass and hit X and we'll go in here to this bin file and we'll go to FMCB installer so now I'm gonna stick my Sony branded 8 meg PlayStation 2 memory card into the first memory card slot and I'm gonna push R1 twice to go to format memory card and hit X hit yes okay um, now I'll hit L1 twice and I'm gonna do the multi install and go ahead and hit okay and hit yes and basically what the multi install is gonna do is make a memory card that we can pull out of the PlayStation 2 and put in any other PlayStation 2 that's not a 9000 X model slim and it'll launch free memory card boot on any of those PS2 models all right, we'll hit OK, and we'll exit the installer here, and hit OK. Now at this point, I'm just going to power off the PlayStation 2, 
and power it back on. Now you can see we have a fresh install of FreeMic boot and that booted up a whole lot faster. Um, but we've lost all of the programs that kind of come pre-installed on FreeHD boot. So the only thing that I'm going to do is get the Open PS2 loader um, because I'm really just going to use this to play my PlayStation 2 library. Um, but if you wanted to do things like install an NES emulator, uh, Media Center, stuff like that, all that stuff's out there. Um, so you can go ahead and install that too. I'm going to start by putting the thumb drive back into our Windows box. Okay, so now we'll install Open PS2 Loader, and there's basically three different feature sets that you can get any combination of. There's GSM, which is the Graphic Synthesizer Mode. Basically, if you have an NTSC television and you want to play PAL games, this is what you'll use to tweak out your display settings. There's VMC, which is the Virtual Memory Card, so instead of using a PS2 memory card, you can actually use the hard drive to create virtual memory cards that can be shared across your games, or you can create a virtual memory card for each and every game in your collection, all right on the hard drive. Then there's PS2 RD, which is the PlayStation 2 Remote Debugger. This is basically like a game genie that will allow you to put in uh, hacked out codes to do things like hex edits and uh, enable god mode, stuff like that. Um, so let's go ahead and download OPL on our Windows machine. All right, and now we'll move that over onto the thumb drive. So let me go to my downloads here, open up OPL, and I'm going to select the version with all three features, and I'm going to pick out the ELF file, and we'll extract that. Onto the thumb drive, and just hit OK. All right, now I'm going to eject that thumb drive and stick it back in the PS2. All right, now I've got the thumb drive back in the PS2, so we're going to start ulaunch ELF again, and we're going to copy that ELF file that we just put on the thumb drive from mass to MC0 colon boot. That's our memory card, so it's going to live in the same place that FreeMic boot lives. Um, and then we'll copy the art folder from our thumb drive over to the hard drive in this folder, plus OPL slash art. Um, then we'll go to the FMCB configurator and set up a launcher for OPL. Um, and then we're pretty much done. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to go to ulaunch ELF and start that up. Okay, so I'll hit circle to go to the file browser. And then I'll hit circle to go to memory card zero. Uh, sorry, let's go back. Let's go to mass circle. And I'm going to hover over the OPL file, hit R1, and then circle to copy. We'll go back up, and we'll go to MC0. We'll go down here to the boot folder. We'll hit R1 and hit paste. Okay, so now we need to move our art folder over, but unfortunately, FreeMcBoot doesn't load the hard drive modules right, so we can't actually write to the hard drive from FreeMcBoot. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go back up and up. And then I'm going to go down here to MISC, and I'll do PS2 power off. When it powers off, I'm going to pull the memory card out of the PlayStation and then turn it back on to boot free hard drive boot. Okay, so now in free hard drive boot, we'll go to ulaunch ELF HDD, which has the hard drive drivers enabled. And we'll hit circle for file browser. We'll go down to mass and hit X. And we'll go to the art folder, hit R1, and we'll hit X to copy. And then we'll go up, and we'll go to HDD0. We'll go to plus OPL, and we will paste right into this directory, our art folder. All right, so now I'll go back up, up again, go back down to MISC again, and we'll go to PS2 power off. Once it turns off, we'll stick the memory card back in it and boot it back up again. Okay, and now the last thing we need to do is go to FreeMic Boot Configurator and launch that. 
Okay, so that was a really long delay. It was probably like a minute and a half. So be patient with it. We only have to do this one time. Um, I'm going to hit X here because I like X to be okay. And basically you want to look for up here where it says loaded MC0. You want to make sure that your CNF file is loaded from your memory card, which it is. If it's not, you just click on load CNF from MC0. Um, we're going to go down to configure OSD sys options. And the first one here is U launch ELF. So I'm going to hit X on that. And basically I'm going to move this one down one so that the PS2 is the first thing that comes up in the menu. To do that, I'm going to take a screenshot really quickly. Um, select area to grab and I'll just do one like this and we'll save it on the desktop okay um, let me open that up real quick and we'll drag it over here and leave it out of the way all right so now I'm going to clear out you launch ELF I'm going to change the name to ps2 you can call this OPL you can call it open PlayStation 2 loader you can call it whatever you want I'm gonna call it ps2 um, and then I'm going to clear all three of these. And here on path one, I'm going to hit square to map any memory card. And then I'm going to go into memory card zero. I'm going to go to boot. And I'm going to pick that OPL ELF that we put in there. Then I'll hit return. Um, and now on configure item one, I'll hit the right arrow to go to configure item two. And I'll change ESR to be U launch ELF. And then again, I will uh, clear all three of these out. I'll hit square here, and boot.elf is what we're going to point that at. So now I'm going to return, and I'll return again. And then I'm going to save CNF to MC0. And you can see up here it says saved. And now I'll exit. And now at this point, I'll just power cycle the PS2. All right, now I'll just go to PS2 from this launcher menu here. All right, so now we're in OPL. We need to hit Start to go to the menu, go to Display Settings, and we're going to turn Cover Art on. And then hit OK. And then hit Circle to go to Games List, and you can see our Cover Art is here with the box cover in the background. Um, and our file name there at the top, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So at this point, you should have a fully modded fat PlayStation 2 where you've backed up your game discs to the hard drive and can now play them from the hard drive without needing discs. Um, in the next video, I'll show you guys how to use this fat PS2 to then create a free McBoot memory card that'll work on the slim PS2 um, because, in my opinion, that's just the easiest way to mod the slim PS2s. Uh, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.